Hello and welcome to Hops and Bros. This week, a very special beer <laughs> from Alcyon Barrel House. Alcyon Barrel House. You're probably asking yourself, what the fuck is Alcyon Barrel House? <laughs> yeah. Never heard of them. Uh, I'm just taking care of opening this one while yeah, you're yeah, getting it's, it's, it's quite, it's quite beautiful. So, uh, Alcyon is actually a, a, I guess, a passion project from one of the brewers from Bose who started there in 2011 and was passionate about barrels. And, uh, and sours and breads, and he sees the romantic side of brewing in that way. Ooh. Which is really, really nice. So uh, Bryce uh, decided to start this, I guess, this year. It's brand new, right? Yeah, you got, it, like, it just, one of the first batches? <laughs> it's, it, the, um, the Infinity Mirror, which what, what we're drinking today, it's a I, IPA that got released on, uh, like, I guess it's the beginning of June? What are you doing? Oh, we forgot Backlight. lights! Okay, we're back! <laughs> now there's lights! But yes, um, this project got started at the beginning of June, I guess. Uh, available, maybe May. I forget when it came when out. When we first had the announcement, because for a yeah. while it was just a rumor. Yeah, it, it was, was just a rumor uh, of what was going on, and now I saw some people having the bottle, and I'm like, where the fuck did they find that? So I hit my local LCBO, uh, not really local, but I went to my favorite <laughs> LCBO out there in Orleans and find a nice bottle of the Infinity nice. Mirror. So this project, I'm really excited of it because I heard a lot um, from the people at Bose. Yeah, so how does it work? It's because uh, I guess he wanted to leave and do his own thing and then Bose said, no, 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 come make your own thing, but stay in the Bose family. And uh, they were able to help him out with the distribution of the product and I guess um, uh, the brew house and all that, right? Exactly. So they, they were able to help him out a little bit more if he stayed in the Bose family. But to it's, be able also, to start this project. it's also 100% independent yeah. entity inside of Bose. Okay. So he's like in the back room doing all his own stuff by himself and bottling and also uh, the labeling part of things. So it's all carried by him. Okay. Yes, of course, it benefits from all like Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that this design is probably from the designers at Bose. It, it, looks, it, it looks very like, Bose-esque. It, 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 it really <laughs> Bose-esque design, but yeah. um, the beer is completely different. Oh yeah, uh, completely different. It, like, first off, a lot of like, eye carbonation, which mm -hmm. is really nice. Uh, gives you a nice little thick head on top. It's all barrel fermented too, right? Exactly. That's thing. And it's all Brett's. And bottle so it's all at the same time. Oh, so okay. it's, a, it's a mix of three different, uh, like just not three yeast, but a mix of different bread yeast, strains okay. that he used in this one. So it's his own brewer's yeast that he created for nice. this uh, specific beer. So nice, um, it's a lot of breads up there. Create that nice citrus aroma as you get a little bit of stone fruits. Um, the bitterness, like that one, don't you? a little bit of uh, acidities. I love like stone fruit, I love stone fruit. <laughs> oh, but it's good. It is very, very good. It's very it's also, rich. It's rich, a uh, nice mouthfeel. Uh, I get a little bit of uh, fresh leather flavors uh, on that one, a little bit grassy too. Um, but you get that nice little bitterness at the same time because it's still a nice IPA. And yeah. like it, it feels really it's romantic. It's a bread IPA, that's what it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a really <laughs> charming bread IPA. Yeah. Like if you take back like the charming character of it, it's a really charming IPA. It's three times I'm saying that, but I'm, <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. The color well, three is times amazing. Makes a charm, so. and yeah. Charming IPA, three times make a charm. No? Yeah, no one? No. You laughed. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> that was sad, man. That was sad. Stop doing sad things on the show, Max. It's not funny. It's, you know, it is what it is. Oh, um, man. But, but yeah. Man. <laughs> I, I really... Go check out their website, too. The, the, the first thing you see is a video of him explaining kind of... Uh, well, I guess everything we just said. But anyways. Yeah, yeah but he's also explaining the whole story behind yeah. beer and why he's doing this style of beer. Wow, I love the flavors. It's insane. Yeah, it's, it's and the more you drink it, the more exactly. I, like. At first, I was a little shocked. I'm like, "Oh, that's different." And yes, it is different. It's, it's a good really difference. But I yeah. like it. It, it. I get that the hokey flavors at the end, that like the barrel age, a little bit of Chardonnay, kind and of. And that's the thing with uh, barrels, uh, right? Is character to it. It's really nice. I like it because you don't get the dryness or like the dry hopping yeah. or like it's all part of like the barrel stuff. Exactly. Get back to the barrels. Tannins. Uh, I have the right word. It's tannins. Yeah, tannins. tannins. 
to get back to the barrels, <laughs> every barrel has a different characteristic. Yeah. So the beer is going to get some of the flavors from that barrel. So what he's actually doing is a blunt. Yeah. So he's using a bunch of different barrels and then blending uh, what he likes from one, more of this, less of that, and creating another product. So you're, you're basically, you're, you're brewing three times. Well, you're not brewing, you're, you're choosing the flavor three times. Exactly, so at the beginning, yeah. then goes in the barrel, then choose again and yeah. mix it up together to create your beer. Exactly. And it's amazing because in this batch, there's actually beers aged from one month to three months. Nice. In red wine barrels. Oh, it's a bit like uh, with whiskey, you know, the number that's on the whiskey, so your Glenf or scotch, your yeah. Glenfiddich 12. The number on there is actually the youngest barrel that's been used in that recipe. So you might have also have barrels that are a lot much older. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's applicable to beer. Probably not. No, because on Road and Back, the number you have on it, yeah. it's the actual number of the barrel that they took the beer in. So the 20 the feeder, oh, the feeder okay. not the, the feeder that they used. It's really, it's really different. Okay, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like because from the last, like the past three years, they've taken a lot of beers from number four, I guess, and that's why you get a lot of Rodenbach's number four. Okay, well, what about the number year four? Then? Is uh, the year is also like the year they made the beer. Okay, but there's also the number the feeder number four. Like the feeder, yeah, exactly. the other number. Not so the year there's perfect. kind of like a wording saying that feeder number four is producing a lot of the. Great rodent backs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because of his character. So that's okay. kind of like the backstory to it. But we should do an episode on barrel. Yeah, eating. we should definitely do well, We should Ooh. probably invite someone who knows a lot more about barrels than us. Maybe. Yeah, that, that could, could be a good idea. Yeah. Mm. It almost seems like we planned this and we're actually like saying live. Uh, we, we've got no idea. If anyone knows a lot about barrels and they want to be uh, featured on the show, well, with us. might be. Uh, we're not guaranteeing anything, but yeah, I mean, yeah. if you're actually knowledgeable and you know, we might have auditions. Can a little casting couch if yeah. you may. S send your resume uh, to us on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. This is where you or can even find Twitter. us. Yeah, you can, yeah, Twitter yeah. is also a yeah. great place. I, I'm writing a lot of funny yeah. stuff out on Twitter. You should definitely check it out. Definitely. That means we have to leave you guys on this note and also cheers. Cheers. Awesome and project. If you see awesome. it, grab it. Uh, go give him a high five. You see him in the streets. Uh, it's great beer, and I'm looking forward to the sour. Yeah, uh, yeah, sour coming out. The yeah. Sultan at 9%. It's going to be interesting. Whoa, really yeah. interesting. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. C'est intéressant, là. Wow. Ouais, cool. Il y a vraiment des savoirs, ça.